the team, of course, to help bring home all of those individual medals. Yeah, tonight we meet a former figure skater turned coach who went on to head one of speed skating's top organizations and in the process had a hand in collecting nearly a dozen medals for the U.S. Jen Holloway joins us now live from a skating training facility in Wesley Chapel. And Jen, this is a guy who lives in Polk County but still has fresh memories of victory in Vancouver. Indeed, and back in 2010, the U.S. speed skating team dominated up in Vancouver, and a lot of it, it had to do with the passion of a man by the name of Bob Crowley. His personal photos catch only a glimpse of their glory. They all went home with medals, every one of them, they went home with a medal. And then this is the long track team over here. But long before becoming executive director of U.S. speed skating, Bob Crowley's journey began lacing up his own set of competitive skates. National level competitive figure skater, so I've been in the sport all my life. That's because when he hung up his own skates, his career turned to coaching. I coached for many years and actually coached a young man who went on to the Olympic Games in 1994, Scott Davis. From the sidelines, he literally lived every twist, turn and tumble his athletes made on the as a coach, you go out there and your skater doesn't perform to the level that they're capable of, and you just die with them. Then his biggest challenge came with not just leading the athletes, but the team behind the athletes. I put the team together for 2010 in Vancouver uh, as executive director for USB Skating and put together all the coaches and high performance staff and all that. Now, at the Olympic Games, it's a little tougher because now that's what they've been striving for their entire life. Well, eventually, Crowley left the ice rink for the waves of fresh water. He's now the executive director of USA Water Ski in Polk County. In Wesley Chapel, Jen Holloway, News Channel 8.